and welcome to another Dune lore video. With a behind the scenes look Vanity Fair gave us into Denis Villeneuve's adaptation of Frank Herbert's Dune, we got our first glimpse of what the Fremen still suits will look like. We saw photos of actors Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Javier Bardem, and Zendaya in these sophisticated outfits. In this video, I thought it'd be good to dive into the lore of Dune to examine what is so special about these suits and take a look at how they've been depicted in previous adaptations in comparison to Denis Villeneuve's film. Still suits were created by the Fremen, the indigenous people that dwell in the deep desert of the planet Arrakis, aka Dune. Thousands of years ago, their ancestors came to this planet where they had to adapt to the harsh environment or be wiped out by it. The tribe's strength and survival became deeply ingrained into their culture. They came to adopt extreme measures to preserve every bit of the body's moisture. Water even came to be viewed as sacred. A Fremen's water is said to belong to the tribe itself, so the disciplines of water preservation must be instilled as soon as possible as it is each person's weighty responsibility to save as much of their body's water as they can. Out of this need to preserve water, the Fremen developed the Still Suit, a highly sophisticated, full-body garment that seals in the body's moisture and filters it so it can be reclaimed, keeping water loss to a minimum. Even in the deep desert, for weeks at a time, the Fremen can survive if the suit is in good working order. There are other body filtration suits that are manufactured by private entrepreneurs as well, but all pale in comparison to the Fremen made still suit. Certainly, in such a harsh environment, a more effective and efficient still suit can be the difference between life and death. This highly sophisticated suit is very complex with many components. Each person needs to adjust their suit properly to their individual size. This ensures the wearer has no chafing and keeping it well fitted maximizes the pumping action of the suit that aids in water reclamation. The suit consists of various layers that absorb the body's moisture, sweat and waste are filtered, and reclaimed water suitable for drinking is then circulated to catch pockets, which you can then drink from a tube that's clipped at the neck. In the Book of Dune, it is Dr. Kynes that explains the details of the suit's workings to a few of the members of House Atreides. He relates that it's basically a micro-sandwich, a high-efficiency filter and heat exchange system. The skin contact layer is porous. Perspiration passes through it, having cooled the body near normal evaporation process. The next two layers include heat exchange filaments and salt precipitators. Salt reclaimed. Motions of the body, especially breathing, and some osmotic action provide the pumping force. Reclaimed water circulates to catch pockets from which you draw it through this tube in the clip at your neck. To summarize, it's a very high-tech suit. It'll keep you alive, but it does require knowledge of its workings and how best to use it for maximum effect. This garment definitely requires some getting used to, especially for those of House Atreides who hail from an oceanic planet and aren't familiar with a planet like Arrakis, where the pressures of thirst are acutely felt. In order for the still suit to work, it literally has to preserve and filter every bit of moisture that your body expends, which also includes all of your body's waste. It's impressive to be sure, but also many find it quite disgusting to contemplate. This really demonstrates, though, the extremes that the Fremen people have gone to in order to survive in this brutal environment. It's not pretty, but it's necessary for survival. A still suit typically covers the entire body, as whatever bit of skin that is left exposed could lose precious moisture. So the Fremen are mostly covered, leaving only their eyes exposed. They also wear gloves, but when they need to perform certain tasks that require the use of their exposed hands, they would then rub their hands with the creosote bush, which is Dune's natural antiperspirant. It's not an exaggeration when I say these suits, while not pleasant to have to wear, are a lifesaver on Arrakis. Water is obviously scarce in this desert world, so keeping one's water loss to a minimum puts less of a strain on the natives of Arrakis. While the universe fights to control the spice that is found on Dune, the natives are focused on their survival. 
Water is everything to them. Every day they face the threat of thirst. It has hardened them, and they do whatever is necessary for their tribe's survival. These suits serve as a lesson not to take our basic necessities for granted. It has been interesting to compare the suits in this new film to the previous depictions of them in the David Lynch version and the Sci-Fi Channel miniseries. I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of either suit in these previous depictions. The 1984 version definitely was the most impressive looking, however while they certainly look dramatic against the desert landscape, I always thought the pitch black color of the suits to be somewhat impractical. The Fremen are nothing if not practical. They are most active at night, so Lynch's suits would certainly blend in at that time, but there are occasions when they are out and about during the day, and in my opinion, it would make much more sense to have a suit that blended in with the natural tones of the environment. It's not only a matter of them blending in, but black would also welcome additional heat unnecessarily. However, other than that, I am impressed by the efforts here to make it look like this highly sophisticated garment specifically including the catch pockets and the different tubes shown. Every suit was handmade and tailored for each of the main actors. They actually made body casts of the actors in their process for that tailored fit. I definitely give them an A for effort. In the miniseries, I seem to have the exact opposite issue. The color is more like what you would expect in a desert environment with these natural, earthy tones that would blend in more. And these suits do include a head and face covering accurate to the book's description. However, that's really the only positive thing I can say about them. There's not much going on with these suits, and to me they look too simple and cheaply made. It looks like a one-piece costume consisting of a single layer, but I do think they tried to do the best they could in being as accurate as possible with their small TV budget. Denis Villeneuve's version of the still suit seems to combine the best parts of both of those previous iterations to bring us one that looks more accurate to how it is described in the book. I applaud the costuming efforts here. The color matches the desert landscape very well, especially the rocks and caverns, and it looks like there are many parts here at work that are necessary to be fitted to the individual. I also like that we get a good look at the contrast between Paul and Jessica's suits, so it's clear it's the same suit, but with many working parts that look like they can be adjusted for a man or woman, and to any size and shape. As far as I can tell, I don't think this suit will have a connected hood that is part of the outfit itself. It looks like to cover the head and face, they'll have masks that will fit over the nose and mouth, with a cloth head covering for the top of the head, and either a hood, which is what Rebecca Ferguson is sporting as Lady Jessica, or long scarves as seen on Javier Bardem and Zendaya as Stilgar and Cheney Kynes. Timothy Chalamet isn't pictured with a mask or head covering. However, most of these pictures are more than likely just behind-the-scenes photos, specifically for marketing purposes. It probably wouldn't have made for a very good picture of the actors if we couldn't see their faces. This life-saving garment plays an integral part of the story itself, and overall, the suits look amazing. I'm very impressed. I really appreciate the attention to detail, and I'm really looking forward to getting a behind-the-scenes look at the costume design and the work that went into crafting these suits to live up to Frank Herbert's creations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more Dune and other sci-fi and fantasy content. And let me know your thoughts in the comments about these special suits and what you think about the previous depictions, as well as Denis Villeneuve's new take on them. Thank you so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.